final example. So what happens if I'm given the identity and I have to bring it back to a single form? So if I'm given this, how do I write it backwards? Well, that's this should be one of your easiest questions, actually, because you should be able to say, hey, if that's a and that's B, or if that's alpha and that's beta, or if that's U and that's V or X and Y, whatever variables are working for you, you can take it back to this. As long as you recognize which identity this is, this happened to be the difference identity for tan. <coughs> and then I can say 78 minus 18 is 60 degrees. Hey, I can solve tan of 60 degrees. That's on the unit circle. So I finished the solve and that would be our answer. So these, like I said, should be the easiest questions on every test. So let's see one more here again. Hey, there's my alpha. There's my beta. So I recognize that's the sum identity for sine. I can do pi over three plus pi over four. You need a least common denominator to do that. So here's the math for those of you who struggle with this. And I end up with this, which is seven pi over 12. And that would be my answer. Can't finish that solve um, without a calculator because this does not this is not on the unit circle. Or I would have to uh, to finish this solve any further. This is what I'd have to do. I'd have to go back to the beginning. So since it all it really wanted me to do was rewrite it in terms ah was rewrite it in terms of a single trig expression, right? Rewrite it in terms of a single trig expression. Then this would be the simplest I can get it to, and that's okay. All right, there's your turn, and that's the last question in this set.